What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So on today's episode, we're talking about ice makers. If you have a fairly new refrigerator and your ice maker just stops working out of the blue, well, the, the cure might be easier than you think. Stay tuned. All right, now that we're in here at the ice maker, let's go ahead and remove our basket here. And then we're gonna go ahead and move, remove this plastic tray at the top. It just snaps out and reveals our actual ice maker. Okay, so I wanted to explain exactly what goes on here uh, when the ice maker uh, does its job uh, basically what it will do is it will bring this arm down and it will check the level of the ice in here whether or not it should fill. So back in here is a tube that fills your tray with water and then as it freezes it will go ahead and when it dumps it will twist that tray and break all of the ice out of the tray. So sometimes a lot of this it looks like it's just under a little bit of a bind and sometimes what happens is condensation will gather on these parts and the ice will freeze it up and the easiest way that you can usually get away with uh, you know taking care of this problem is just to take a simple hair dryer and uh, heat up some of these components. Now we're just doing it enough to make sure we get all of the ice out of the you know, nooks and crannies of these small plastic parts. And it would help if my outlet worked here. Outlet is dead. It's great. All right, let's go ahead and heat this up. All right, now that we've heated this up enough, uh, there is a reset button on the bottom of the unit here. I'm going to take a picture so that you guys can see. But there's a reset button right here on the end of the arm mechanism. So what you wanna do, since you've went ahead and thawed out the mechanism here, is reinsert your basket. And then we are gonna simply hit the button here. All right. I might've hit it a couple times. I shouldn't have hit it a couple times just once. See, so our arm, our arm went down and checked, checked the ice and then it came back up and then it dumped the tray. So now all of our parts seem to be moving okay. It was just a frozen, a frozen or a glitch. And then our water starts to flow again here on the left side. So forgive my videography skills here in such a hard place, but this water will fill our tray. The ice will then, uh, will then cool down and freeze. And then after a set amount of time, um, this mechanism will then turn it over. So um, just a you know theory of operation there. I thawed out a couple pieces there with the hairdryer and boom, we're back up and running. All right, guys, so that is a pretty simple fix for a newer refrigerator. Um, I have done that fix uh, three or four times on different refrigerators all over the place. So uh, it's just some condensation that sometimes gets frozen and you don't have an actual problem. It's the things that happen when you get frustrated that often break little components. So do not get in there on a frozen ice maker tray and start prying and 
trying to get it to do something that it's bound up on because chances are you will break the frozen little plastic pieces and then now you're trying to find a replacement part. So have some patience, thaw it out, hit the reset button and you're back up and running. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, well, you should stick around because it's nothing but good things. I'll see you guys in the next video.